Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got an unboxing for you and it is some diamond paintings. It's from the company called Outdoor Tide. They sent me an email and asked if I'd like to um, pick a few of their products to share on my channel with you all. So yeah, very, very kind of them. So thank you so much. Obviously, I will be giving you my honest opinions and everything. And then I do hope to come back in the future with some completed products and then doing like a post review. Um, I know lots of diamond painting sort of people on YouTube do do that. And I really enjoy watching them because I think it's really helpful if you're thinking about maybe purchasing a kit. So I will um, show you what I chose. Let's get them out of this wrinkly bag. Um, it came pretty quick actually um, I'll pop all the details down below but in my post reviews I'll go through things a little bit more I'm going to try and get a logbook really I think and get a bit more organised so I've got a few things I've got four canvases and we'll start off with this first product here this is a little bit different I'm going to just pull the information up so I can tell you a little bit about it as well so this is an A5 sketchbook book and it is 50 pages it's a flower special shaped diamond painting notebook um it was eleven dollars and ninety four so it's quite good it comes in this little zippy bag which is quite nice just to store some of your things and um, let's have a look so it's like a soft back book first of all um and that's it i thought it was really quite a pretty little design it's just some flowers it's just on the front of the book um and yeah just a little booklet I could maybe use this as my logbook. The pages are quite thin, but it's just, it's quite handy. And then, um, yeah, it feels like just soft, sort of like plastic leatherette. Um, and there's the drill field. It looks a little bit crinkly. And you can see where there's an indentation actually from where the, the tray has been, but that'll probably end up coming out in time. So that's that, I thought that was quite pretty um what's included so you just get your regular um toolkit just with your tray a bit of wax and the stylus and then let's have a look at the diamonds so again they're just packed really really nicely and a b c five six seven let's have a look Okay, make sure I pack them all back away together again. It's quite handy. I like having this little zip bag actually. It'll keep it all in there. And it's got their 354164. Is that the product? It doesn't match up with these. That's BJ112. I guess that's a book journal, is it? I don't know. I'm not sure what that refers to. I'm trying to see if I can see that on that sticker. I can't. Okay, so what have we got? Have we got all the right gems? How many colours have we got? Well, there's no inventory sheet, but this is what we have. So we've got some really nice, like, little yellow ones. And it looks like they've got some AB coatings on them. Some green. Lemon. Orange. Oh, these are pretty. Sort of orange with AB. And then some yellow, but with, like, lots and lots of sort of cuts on them. They'll be really sparkly. Some teardrops in like a champagne colour, some blue AB teardrops, some like, what are these? Are these Montes? They're quite pretty. And then some larger ones there. So they look quite nice. Um, yeah, I just said it'd be quite nice just to have a bit of a blingy book. I might use it as my logbook or just maybe for keeping a record of orders and things in. I'm not sure. But yeah, that is that. So I'll get rid of everything there. It's just started raining here. Um, I've had a good few weeks, so it's not been bad. What's the weather like where you are? Right then, so next thing is, now I opened one of these to so I could work out. I was really struggling to find out which company these were from. Um, I'd lost my email somewhere amongst all my emails. Anyway, I managed to find out who they were. So this one is, I know what this one is because I had a look at it and it's such a happy, happy picture. I absolutely love this. So this is a full round canvas. 
Wait till you see this. I'm just going to roll it the other way. I'm still behind my camera. I need to get an overhead stand, I think, for my camera for filming these videos. And it'll make life so much easier. So if you know where to get one that you'd recommend, do let me know. So it's um, just like a regular canvas. It feels like it's straightening out pretty quick. But can you see it? Look at that. It is a scarecrow in a field of sunflowers. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. Um, this is $9.30. It says on here it's 30 by 40 and there are 25 colours. So I've got my tape measure. Let's see if it is 30 by 40. I think it's a bit smaller. It is. So yeah, it's just under 25. by about 35 so about five centimeters shy on each side um so it is a pod glue canvas let's try and loosen these up a little bit i just think this looks so happy i really love it it's pretty it's fairly sticky i don't think it's the stickiest i've ever had but it's not bad um yeah, so there are 25 shades and it looks to be letters and numbers. And the drill field is printed pretty clearly, I think. Is there anything that will get confusing? These are quite dark. These greens have got um, like black on the green. It might be a bit easier if it was white on there but um, I might need my light board underneath but sometimes once you start doing it it gets a bit easier I mean and they look pretty clear here there's no confusion looking at the chart so it might be a bit better once you're doing it rather than just looking at the legend down the side um including the kit again just a basic kit but some baggies super duper and then the drills let's see what these are like so as I say it's a round drill Really like this size and I think 30 by 40 is probably my favorites Um, you can get done fairly quickly and I don't think I'd get bored of them because of that and um, I'm yet to try a big canvas though so let's see if we have got 25 colors Um, so where are we let's have a look there's number one here we go so they are labeled with the canvas code which is helpful are they yeah b3216 b3216 that's good so you can store them separately if you need and the drills look not bad but are they just plain or are they faceted i think I don't think these are faceted either. They just look more like sort of like little pearl finish rather than the really intricate cut ones. I had a kit before though, and like some were, oh, I love this colour. Some were just them um, flat, and then others were sort of more um, like diamond cut. But I think it just probably takes away from the sparkle. But the colours look nice. And then, yeah, we shall see. So that's everything there that looks okay i'm just um a little bit disappointed with the finish of those but we'll see what they're like once they go on the canvas right i'm going to just precariously perch them over here and hope everything doesn't get mixed up just to try and keep it a bit more speedy now then i've got no idea what is in this one let's see if i can open it i'm a bit nervous about using scissors in case I cut the canvas. I think I, the very first one I opened, I think I just nicked the canvas. Unless it came like that, but it may have been me not realising that they were so close to the edge of the bag. Okay, let's see. What's this one? Oh, what's this? Oh, there's a little something there to expose adhesive. Oh, I don't know what that is. Um... Oh, I know which one this is. Let me just find it up and I can give you some information about it. Um, it is, this is something a little bit different. I thought I'd try something different. I want to see um, what the quality of the, um, 
the rendering is on this it might be a little bit too busy actually it it might work okay it is comes in as a purple castle villa um i don't know if you can see it because of the shot um, the, the sort of reflection but yeah it's like a big house lit doorway i'm not sure what it'll turn out like once it's done and um, it's 23 colors um the print quality again i mean the actual print of the letters is quite fine but i think think it should be okay lots of confetti over here i'm just not sure if it's a bit blurry um let me take the this sort of backing off and have a look so i think as well because it's got guide circles and the print it is a really thin sort of font that they've used I just think it's I've got to concentrate on this one, I do think. But I was really curious to see what it oh it's, it's very sticky. <laughs> um I was really curious to see what it would turn out like. Um and I, I did like the sort of design. Okay, you can see there's like the glue's super shiny on this, it's really sticky. Um I had <laughs> I've learned to be really careful when you um got your drills on an exposed area because I actually dropped a tray of drills on one of my campuses I was working on before and then it just took me forever to pick them all off the canvas I will never do that again um probably that's a one time only thing hopefully you live and learn but yeah but no I thought that was quite pretty so again it says it's 30 by 40 let's have a look So again, just under 25 by 35, just under 35, so five centimetres short. Um, baggies, wax, tray, stylus, and then the gems in here, the drills. Now, are these ones faceted? I'm not going to go through all the colours, um, but I will just give you a quick look. I just want to make sure that they're sort of like... You know what I mean, don't you, when I say about them being sort of like, sort of cut in a certain way. Again, they look smooth. Well, that one might, that one's, I think, is maybe angled. Well, I don't know. We will see. Okay. Let's have a better look. Lots of blues and purples, which I do love. Yeah, they're sort of a bit more faceted, I think. So, okay. Um, that's that one. I'm going to sit that on the top. I need to sort these out really carefully. <laughs> um, right, two more. Uh, where are we? What have we got here? I need to start getting these all logged properly. Um, just so that when I get to do them, I know what I've got. Oops, are you there, guys? <laughs> I think I'm going to um, print off a copy of each one like from the website where I got them from so that I can sort of keep that in my logbook and when I can flick through, it's easier flicking through that. Now this next one is just, I think this is going to be super fast to do. Um, oh, actually no, I thought it was a special, but it's not. It is a full round, but it's not very big, but I really, really liked it and it just says, home is where the dog is it looks like it's on some like wood background little dog footprints and then the text and i just thought that was really really lovely um i, ha I am a dog owner dog lover so i just thought it'd be a really fun one to do it shouldn't take too long it says has it got the measurements on here can't see on here what does it say on the website let me have a little look so it's eight dollars 21 it says it's a 30 by 30. To be fair, it does say on the website, actually, sizes are approximate. So that's sort of reasonable. So, yeah, it's just under 25. Just under 25. You've got um, a stylus, some wax, and a tray. And then here are all the drills. I thought this was a special partial. <laughs> so that's me, I'm told. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that one and then um, getting it done. And it'll probably go in my haul or something like that at home. 
but yeah, I just thought it was really nice. And then finally, the last one. Everything's going to fall off on top of you now. Um, here we go. So I'm looking forward to seeing this last one, actually. I want to see what it's... Um, I hope it's nice. Um, it looked super cute on the website. And then literally, it's so difficult to choose um, canvases when these companies are so generous. And even when you're going to... Um, to sort of like purchase them yourself it's just because there's thousands and thousands to choose from it's just it's unbelievable so this one is so so cute there's a little sneak at the colors lots of aquas and teals i'm just going to roll it the other way around to try and get it to lay flat i have to say i think these are going to flatten out really really fast actually some that i've had from other bits i've had really big um creases in and these don't seem too bad at all Okay, look at that. It is a little dragon. Um, I love it. I really hope this turns out really well. Um, I don't think I'm going to get any detail. Sorry about that. My husband rang, which means um, it turned my filming off because I film on my phone. So, yeah. Um, so, it's this really, really super cute dragon. Um, I think the finer details aren't going to show up, like the clock on around his neck, um, things like that. But... I just hope it turns out nice. This is the thing, isn't it? When you get smaller canvases, it's a bit of a gamble and like maybe like a 50 by 40 would have been better. But um, it just looks so cute. This printing seems a little bit clearer on here. There are 24 colours and they are all letters, which is brilliant. That makes it really, really easy and straightforward to follow. But um, I just think this is lovely. I love the turquoise colours in this. And then that's what sort of drew me to it. And purple eyes. I'm turquoise and purple. Um, back from my card making days, it's one of my favourite colour combos. <laughs> um, I really, really love it. So yeah, that's that. In the kit, it was just a tray, wax and a stylus. And then here are the jewels. So as I say, 24 colours. And um, they look really nice. Oh my goodness, I've got so much to sort out. <laughs> I need to start doing some kitting up videos, but I just don't have time. I don't know how everybody manages to find time to do like kitting ups and whipping chats and um, like breaking the kits back down again afterwards. Um, so all the colours here, 15, 16. Oops. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Ah, oh, there we go. 18, 19, 20, 20, 24. Fabulous. Oh my goodness, these colours. <gasps> Some beautiful purples. Oh, they are really, really lovely. Gosh, just loads of these. This is that main background. Aren't they beautiful? Really, really lovely. So I'm very excited. Um, these have the DMC numbers included. I didn't tell you this for all the others. Um, the dog one actually doesn't have the DMC numbers. Hmm, interesting. Um, I wonder. No, no DMCs. That's really frustrating. So yeah, that's all of those. Um, oh, I keep knocking the camera. Sorry, guys. I'm really, really thankful to outdoor tide for sending these through to me i think it's just very generous of them cannot wait to start making some particularly the little doggy sign one i really really want to do that um i hope you have enjoyed my unbaggings and i will be back again very soon with some more diamond painting videos i want to get myself properly organized i think so i can get everything really well arranged and everything and then try and get a bit of a schedule going and um, yeah do let me know if you enjoyed diamond painting as well and where your favorite places are to purchase from and what your favorite things to sort of diamond paint are whether it's like cute or animals landscapes that type of thing and um take care if you have enjoyed it please do subscribe and i will see you all in my next video thank you so much guys take care bye